you may or may not have heard already, but the skincare community is in shambles right now because we just found out that the beloved Purito Centella sunscreen may not actually offer an SPF of 50, but it may actually just offer an SPF of 19. Before we panic, we are intelligent and sensible individuals that are going to discuss the current findings, Purito's response, and uh, the next steps. I haven't explicitly said I'm doing Vlogmas, but I have been releasing daily videos since December 1st. I just kind of want to see how far I can go, but today's video is actually supposed to be a standalone review of the Purito Comfy Water, but naturally it didn't feel right to release it. So this extremely beautiful and elegant sunscreen from Purito, the Centella Green Level, I use the unscented, but they also have the scented one if you see a green label here offers an SPF of 50 plus with a P ra PA rating of four pluses, which is the maximum amount you could, any sunscreen can offer you. Purito went as far as to even say their lab indicates that it has an actual SPF rating of 80 or 84. In general, this is a popular one because it's a physical or mineral sunscreen that feels extremely elegant on the skin. So just to give you a bit of context, a few weeks ago, I started to see people or I started to hear rumblings of individuals individuals doubting the protection of Purito sunscreen based off the concentration of zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. So they were saying these concentrations are way too low in the formulation to offer such a high level of protection. The argument to that was you can't really know the full story of the formulation based off concentration. As we know, formulations are a lot more than a concentration. So it depends on how it's made, what it's made out of, what it's coated, what kind of active ingredients, what kind of inactive ingredients. So about 72 hours ago at this point, Judith, the founder of Inky Decoder, which is a website that uh, offers ingredient breakdown, so it helps you understand how ingredients work and what they do, released a blog post detailing how she found out that the Perito Centella sunscreen actually offers an SPF of 19. So to summarize her blog post, um, it appears that Judith is working on her own sunscreen formulation or her own products. And through discussions with other formulators, they came to a conclusion that this concentration of sunscreening actives may not translate to that level of protection. So they started having a little bit of doubts. And because of that, they decided to test the true protection of the sunscreen. So Judith uh, detailed exactly what she did. She sent two samples that were unlabeled and technically anonymous because they decanted the product and sent them off to two different labs in Europe, one in Germany and one in Poland, I believe. And both labs used in vivo testing, meaning on humans, which by the way, is a very expensive process. So they must have had enough doubts to be willing to pay this to have it tested. So those two independent labs indicated that the true protection of this sunscreen is an SPF of 19. And that's when Judith decided to share both the lab results and reports and the information to the rest of us. When you buy a sunscreen that is labeled as SPF X with a PA rating of Y. The amount of trust you have in that label does not compare to if you go buy a serum that says anti-aging on it. It's a whole different category of trust when it comes to sunscreens. So I understand it, it, it breeds or it inserts a seed of doubt and fear. But like I said, we are sensible, intelligent individuals. So we need to discuss this a little further before we throw this out in the garbage. So first, the positive is that SPF 19 is better than SPF 0. Um, so if you've been applying this, you've been getting uh, some protection. Purito released uh, an Instagram statement a day or two after uh, the results. And to me, it was a very professional and intelligent and appropriate response. So Purito essentially said that they did not formulate the sunscreen in-house. They contracted a third party manufacturer to create this formulation. Once that formulation was created, a lab tested and determined that this offers an SPF of 50 plus with a PA rating of four pluses. That formulation then went to the KFDA, which is the Korean equivalent to the American FDA, who released it to the market with no issues. So despite going through all the appropriate testing and the appropriate channels as per Purito, they've still decided to pause sales on all three other sunscreens, which include the scented and unscented versions of the green level sunscreen as well as the comfy water 
and they are gonna do more in vitro and in vivo testing and offer us those results. So if the Polish and German lab results are true in the sense that this sunscreen only offers an SPF of 19 despite being labeled as an SPF 50 plus, what could have possibly gone wrong here? One possibility is that the SPF was never a, a SPF of 50 plus, was always an SPF of 19. And this problem either originated from the manufacturer or the brand itself or both. So from there, we'd have to find out if this was an intentional or unintentional mistake. Sunscreen labeling drama is not new, it's not unprecedented, and it does not just affect Korean sunscreen. This has happened in the US and in New Zealand. Another possibility, which uh, is less likely but still a thought, is if this original formula did test SPF 50 plus, did something change along the way? Did the product degrade? Did the ingredients that they use interact with each other and minimize protection? And if that's the case, is there a bad batch of sunscreen out there? Um, just as you would have food recall or product recall, every uh, product has sort of a batch code to it or should anyways, otherwise it's a problem, which you may have seen with the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. Uh, some batches had the same codes, which is not normal. There is a bad batch out there. Did the Polish and the German labs test those bad batches? In that case, did uh, Judith from Inky Decoder send two samples from the same batch? And that's why they got the same results. Was it two different batches? So those are questions that we are currently waiting uh, on before we can actually make, I guess, an educated decision. Essentially, it's hard to decide uh, who to blame and what to blame because it could either be a genuine error, it could be a batch error, or it could be active deceit, which is heartbreaking. I fully understand the outcry and the, and the feelings of betrayal because if, like I said, if you've been using the sunscreen thinking you're getting SPF 50 this whole time and you're actually just getting SPF 19, it hurts. Before you convince yourself that you have to throw out all your K-beauty sunscreens, you know, take a deep breath. We do not have all the answers or enough answers to make a proper decision. I've personally put my my stash of Purito sunscreens on hold. I have them in their containers. I'm just gonna wait till I hear a bit more and then um, and then I'll make a decision from there. Don't throw anything out. Again, it could work as a sunscreen on your hands. If you're indoors all the time, an SPF 19 is fine, although I prefer an SPF 30 as my minimum. It's important to note that sunscreen only goes as far as behavior. If you're applying SPF 50 sunscreen but you're staying outdoors for hours on end on a high UV index day and you're not reapplying, you're not really getting that protection that you think you are. So it's important to know that sunscreen or applying sunscreen is only one part of the whole story. Um, and this is a great reminder that we need to be doing more than just applying sunscreen for the full protection. I know this is a total bummer, especially when it comes to very elegant physical sunscreens. Um, just to let you know, don't you don't have to start doubting um, your all your sunscreens. Um, this is not something that happens often, but it does happen, and it's not just localized to Korean sunscreen. And that wraps up our little discussion about the current Purito scandal, I guess you could say. Hopefully that offered you a bit more calmness and clarity. In the meantime, I'm gonna round up in my next video some sunscreens that you can pick up that are mineral, if that's what you really, really want. Um, that can tide us over until we find out the truth. Thank you again for watching and hopefully I'll see you very soon.